Welcome viewers according to conservative Matt Lewis, Republicans are finally realizing that former President Donald Trump is a damaged asset and that the best way forward is to seek a new GOP standard bearer. In this video we will break it all down for you, but before we proceed if you are new to my channel, please take a minute of your precious time to hit the red subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell to get the latest updates from us. To make his point, the conservative points to the double whammy for Trump through damaging testimonies at the House Select Committee hearings on the January 6 insurgency, as well as Trump's mix of endorsements that have failed to help his Republican pick. Even in the eyes of loyal Republicans, and has improved the presidential prospects for Governor Ron DeSantis. This emerging development has sparked debate between people who see the rise of DeSantis as cause for celebration and those who see it as jumping from the frying pan into the fire, he warned, before adding, just because DeSantis is bragging about it, his conventional, impressive credentials don't mean that never Trump's conservatives should automatically take to the mats for him. Noting that some Republicans have criticized the Florida governor for his authoritarian tendencies, Lewis suggested, this debate about DeSantis' fitness may not be academic. In fact, she can be crucial for anyone desperately. Lewis added, my advice when it becomes clear Ron DeSantis is the only Republican who can stop Trump, well, as the saying goes, every port in the storm. The Democrats sent Trump in 2020 and rallied around afar. It may well fall to Republicans to do the same in 2024. I think you've got issues of tempering with the United States with regard to the vice president issue and the big lie. You've got potential obstruction, influencing a witness, and of course, you've got seditious conspiracy. If indeed, they can tie all of those pieces together, Cobb said. I think that will be difficult on the sedition, but I do think there's certainly other criminal activity worthy of investigation. What is your take on this matter? Please tell us in the comments and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.